Just wanted to let you know before we start this episode that this is a Team Jacob channel. So if you're Team Edward, we don't need any of that energy here. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd, the show where we watch shitty movies and talk about them. Hashtag brilliant intro. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and today's Phil's Bad Friday. Happy Friday. If you're new around here on Fridays, I share with you the best entertainment of all time. You're impossibly fast and strong. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. I know what you are. Say it. Out loud. Vampire. And that's why today we're talking about in Twilight. Because there's no such thing as a more perfect piece of cinema. I mean, what other movie pays homage to America's greatest pastime? That's right, high school lunch. Twilight is interesting, and I know that I say that everything is interesting. Trust me, I know I need to find better words. But Twilight is intriguing because it had a massive following when it first came out. Sure, it started as books, and those were pretty popular too. But this first one in the series got almost $400 million in the box office. And that's with a budget of less than $40 million. This series was massively popular and back in the day, I was kind of part of the problem. In 2008, I was in middle school and I decided to read the book series because I had some friends that told me it'd be good. Now these friends were girls, so I should have seen the red flags there, but it doesn't matter because I read the entire series and then I went on to watch most of the movies. And I don't know why I didn't just like take a step back and look at how bad it is. So over 10 years later, we're going to take a step back and look at how bad it is. Now, I'm not going to talk about the books today because honestly, I don't remember enough about how they were written and I couldn't tell you if the source material was bad or not. It probably was, but I can tell you that this movie, it sure isn't good, but it's definitely entertaining. So for the three people out there that don't know about Twilight, the story follows a high school girl named Bella Swan who moved to Forks, a small town in Washington to live with her father, Charlie. Here she meets this dude named Edward and her relationship blossoms. The hook here though is that this dude Edward is a vampire and he has an entire family that are vampires, each with their own little quirks. The main overall story is about Bella and Edward getting together but there's also this other plot where we see another group of vampires that are evil invade Forks and hunt on the innocent. They end up meeting Bella with one of them hunting her in the last third of the movie. The pacing, by the way, is nowhere close to good in Twilight. There's actually quite a lot that happens in this movie now that I think about it. So let's unpack everything. Edward and his family of vampires are all good vampires. They don't hunt humans. They actually hunt animals instead. So they're able to live in this town and go to school as teenagers, but they don't look like teenagers. At least Bella kind of looks like she could pass his 18th. Edward looks like he could pass his 33. And, and the rest of the vampires look like they're at least in their 20s. Probably because they were when they filmed the movie, but I digress. Most of these vampires have special abilities, which I completely forgot about until I watched the movie again. But Edward can read people's mind, but not Bella's, just because, you know, she's different. Whatever. Alice can see into the future. Jasper can feel the emotions of those around him. I'm reading these all off of the wiki, by the way, because I forgot about these. All vampires also have this special ability where they can glow like a disco ball in the sunlight. That's dope and not dumb whatsoever. The point here is that the vampire mythos that is involved with this world is so counterintuitive to literally any other piece of fiction with vampires in it. And that's one of the many reasons Twilight is absolutely hilarious. The next reason is because we got werewolves too. Yeah, the werewolves aren't really talked about in this first movie, but we do have the character Jacob, played by the one and only Taylor Sharkboy Lautner, who, who is a werewolf. They don't, again, they don't say it in there, but his power is that he's jealous of Edward and Bella. Again, he's introduced in the movie, but not as a werewolf yet. We get that later on. But I want to talk about the person who got the most screen time. My girl, Kristen Stewart. See, I've heard people talk about her bad acting in this movie for years, and you know, they're not wrong. <laughs> Kristen Stewart has this wonderful acting technique where her face looks the exact same, no matter what emotion she is exuding. It's brilliant, honestly. But the weird thing is, she's not even the worst actress in this movie. Like, she's bad, but not as bad as some of the vampires. My favorite one is Rosalie. There's this scene where she just gets angry for no reason, and it's, it's beautiful. I hope you're hungry. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, she already ate. In fact, I laughed a lot watching this movie. There's the moment where Edward bounces an apple off the floor. The very long baseball scene. Yes, there is a baseball scene. No, I have no idea why. There's also a scene where Bella has to run away to escape the evil vampires. And so she goes home and starts yelling at her dad. Like it's his fault that she's leaving. And he just takes it, man. I felt bad for him. But then I also laughed really hard. It's just... It's just the whole Twilight concept has no way that it should have succeeded. Everything about it, it missed its mark. The acting is mostly bad. I talked a little bit about the pacing, but it's awful. It's a two hour movie and it just keeps going and going. Like they don't bring up any interaction with the evil vampires until more than halfway through the film. Edward and Bella just like start being in this relationship without having any chemistry. The entire movie is a mess and yet it's very, very entertaining. It's definitely one of those movies that's so bad it's good, almost like a guilty pleasure. You can go into Twilight with no expectations whatsoever and just look at it like it's a comedy and you're, you're good. You're going to laugh the entire time. Watch it with friends. If you drink, I bet a good drinking game would be peak enjoyment for everyone. If you do cocaine, I'm sure that'll help it. I, I just, <laughs> I can't help it, but I'm actually excited to watch New Moon next. Well, I guess I'm a sellout now. Did you enjoy this video and maybe you're thinking, Hey Zach, I want to know how to do the things you did in the video like video editing or thumbnail designs. Well, you're in luck because today I'm introducing you to Skillshare or maybe you've heard about Skillshare before, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about it anyways. In today's world, everybody wants to be a YouTuber, but they may not know how to develop the proper skills that it takes to put out quality content on the regular. You know, to please the almighty YouTube algorithm. You could be like me who took seven years of hard work and dedication to learn how to edit videos at least decently, or you could use Skillshare, which is an online learning platform with tons of classes taught by some of the best teachers in their respective fields. In other words, if you want to learn photography, why not learn it from someone who's successful at photography? If you want to learn video editing, web development, writing, or more, Skillshare is the place to go. It's affordable, it's useful, and if you use the link in the description box below, you can get two free months. That's right, two completely free months, 60 days, completely free on me. So go children, go learn to be a better YouTuber than me. You can do it. That's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, for whatever reason, you can hit that dislike button. Are you team Edward or team Jacob? Let me know down in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. And that's a wrap.